So, we're starting the last vlog now. Hey guys, welcome to day 52 of my European backpacking adventure. Very last day, we're here in Iceland. It's 11 p.m. right now, but I just got here and since I'm not planning on sleeping, we'll see what happens. Just gonna be a one day thing. Almost 11.30 right now. And the sun's still a good bit up in the sky. I mean, it's definitely getting dark, but not that dark. <laughs> got off the bus in Reykjavik. Wanna guess what time it is right now? It is 12.30 and this is how dark it is. And this is the darkest it's gonna get because on my phone it said the sun's already set and the sun rises at three in the morning. So this is nighttime here in Iceland. It's crazy. Well, it's only like 12.45 now and I'm already like <laughs> So I definitely think I'm gonna have to like rest for a bit, but I see how long I can go. I mean, at least I know I can get like a good like 40 minutes of sleep on the bus over to the Blue Lagoon. All right, so let's walk into Reykjavik, y'all. Um, something I forgot to mention when I was at the airport that was so weird was customs was closed. So I just walked into the country. That is so crazy. Way into the ocean. And Rosie here is just starting to drizzle. <laughs> Fabulous. Yes, what I need, but it's all good. I have, I do have an umbrella. Well, um, so I'm up on this rock thing. You can see, there it is. Um, behind me is the ocean. And you can like see like where the sun set. It's really set, cause it's still light out. Oh, I know, we're like, what to do over here. I'll literally been here for all of like five minutes. And I'm gonna basically start walking back the same way I came because the beach is on the other, the uh, way other side. But yeah, Iceland. <laughs> it's like hard to believe I'm in Iceland. I'm just like, oh hey, it's like another city, but this is Iceland. I'm in Iceland. Hey, look, here's something. Associated Icelandic ports. It is like about fishermen in ports. Okay, so I just finished like reading all the little plaques and stuff. So this little like open air exhibit thing is because the harbor here celebrating its 100th birthday opened in 1970. It's a little exhibit talking about the harbor and how it came to be and stuff like that. Woke me up a bit reading, but now heading on. I made it to the viewpoint and there's this thing that I guess it's supposed to be like a Viking ship. I think so. So over here, got mountains with some snow on them. And over behind it, the view. I mean, this is kind of the same view I've had walking this whole time. But I mean, hey, there it is. Oh, I can see the clouds are getting a little lighter. So here's me at the viewpoint with the Viking statue thing. I'm so tired. I can't walk to the beach, so I'm gonna find a hotel. Um, it's kind of on the way towards the bus, um, bus station, and like sleep on a lobby couch for a bit. This definitely looks like the downtown area. Really cute, actually. So apparently puffins are a big thing here. There's a puffin store. I saw a thing I passed by earlier. So like go on like a puffin tour to like see puffins, and I'm like. Why aren't I here longer? I want to see puffins. I just don't even know what a puffin is. Is it like a mix between a penguin and a bird? Okay, almost up this hill. Almost there. Hey, I made it to the top of the hill. Woo! And there's actually this like pretty cool looking church up here. If it would focus. There we go. Look at this church. A cool church. That's a big church too. It's tall. I like just the design. I've never seen anything like it, like as a church at least. It's very like modern looking, isn't it? I wonder if this is like Icelandic style. If so, it's pretty cool. And then there's a statue of this dude standing in front of it looking like he just conquered something with the big church behind, like, framing him. That was really cool looking. I really enjoy this aesthetic. Well, 
I rested for like an hour at this little hotel and just like asked if I could like just sit in the warm for a little bit. And I kind of like slowly fell asleep. Uh, he let me sleep for like an hour and then he's like, he's like, hey, he's like, you can't sleep here. And I'm like, sorry, I didn't mean to. I totally meant to fall asleep. It's like four o'clock right now. It's gotten a good bit lighter. It's pretty, pretty light now. It's got another like hour and a half to go. Um, so, um, and I do, don't just want to go to the bus station because those benches there looked really uncomfortable. So, I'm realizing that this vlog is making to be the adventures of where Jade slept. <laughs> At least now. I don't think I've ever been asked this question before, but if I ever get asked the question, what's the weirdest place you've ever slept in, I'm going to say... A subway slash convenience store in Reykjavik. <laughs> but it was great because there was like a like a booth. Not like a booth, but you know, like um how there'll be like tables and then there'll be like one side with like a booth. So it was nice and long. I stretched out there. No one bothered me for an hour. I I think they realized I was there. Pretty sure they did. They just didn't care. It was great. I was actually good to sleep until my alarm went off. So now I'm going to the bus station, which is right here. Bought a Red Bull for when I get there. So I'm not like falling asleep. <laughs> yeah, I have a feeling today's gonna be a lot of me just sleeping in random places. Woo, Iceland! Okay. On the bus, it'll be about an hour until I get there. And I'ma take a nap. Okay, see you guys when I get there. There it is, where all the steam's coming out of. Whoa. All right, guys, Blue Lagoon. Just got here. Okay, so let's go. Oh, I don't know what that sound is. Let's go do this. So it seems like Iceland is basically just a lot of rocks. <laughs> like, I think it's just, it's made, like the whole island is made out of, I came out from a volcano. So it just looks like a, like a lot of volcanic rock. It's what makes up the island. <laughs> this is all I seen like basically everywhere. Alright, so got my hair all conditioned so the lagoon doesn't mess it up. And here we go. Ooh. Oh, it's nice and warm. Ooh. Oh, it feels really nice. Ooh. Ah. Alright, well, I'm gonna go see about getting one of my masks done. Over the mud bar. That is kind of nice being here this early in the morning. Not packed. Crazy is it? I'm in Iceland right now at the Blue Lagoon and I'm literally not even going to go away. But I will say like I wasn't expecting it to be as expensive as it was. So just be prepared. Like if you're like, I wouldn't go to the Blue Lagoon, like I was stupid and was like, well I'm just going. Like I didn't look up the price. I did the package up from basic which gets you a towel, a drink, and an extra mask. And it was like with the bus transfer, so the bus from Reykjavik. To a blue gun and back. It was about 150 US dollars. I'm here for like no time at all. I'm spending so much money. <laughs>
Earth, the water's temperature is a scorching 240 degrees Celsius. By the time the water reaches the lagoon, it is a warm, luxurious 38 degrees Celsius. The lagoon's renewal interval is 40 hours, meaning that the serene water in which you are currently immersed was 40 hours ago, 2,000 meters within the Earth, in a realm that no human eyes have ever seen. The lagoon is blue because of the way that silica reflects sunlight. Silica, however, is a dynamic element and does much more than make the lagoon naturally blue. Okay, so just finished having a break where I got some food because I was hungry and I'm gonna go in now through the inside one so I have to freeze my butt going up there. Alright. Oh, it feels so nice. Woo! Hot again. raining now. <laughs> it looks like it's clouds and I think I can feel like little droplets, like tiny tiny little droplets coming down. moisturizing one because the other one is kind of like a deep cleansing floor so it's just been kind of dry and then this one feels like super moisturizing Marvel! I got here at 7, got in the water probably by 7.30, out of the water around 10.30, and I headed back on 11.15 bus. So I'm gonna head back and do a few things. I definitely feel like I have way more energy now. Probably a combination of both Red Bull and just like relaxing. It's kind of hard to believe like this is what the whole most of the landscape of Iceland is like because it was, you know, formed by lava. And, and so like, so it's like lava rocks with like green algae on it. I think that's what that is, I'm not sure. It's like nothing I've ever seen before. Okay, just finished having lunch and I'm really full and so it's like 12.45. There's no way I would have enough time to walk to the beach and be there for more than like 10 minutes before I'm gonna walk back. So, as long as the Thalic Museum isn't too expensive, I'm gonna see about doing it. This is a gavel, guys. <laughs> it's a gavel. I can't. This is incredibly creepy. These are whale penises. These are real whale penises, guys. What am I looking at? <laughs> oh my god. This is so creepy. Why is this dolphin one so much smaller than this dolphin one? It's like super tiny. Also, so these are like petrified ones. Like, I don't know if you can see, but there's like still hair on it. And it's really, really, really creepy. Can you see the hairs on the penis? Can you see them? 
Look, do you see him right there? Right there. Right there. That's so creepy. Whoa, this is the humpback whale. It's a giant whale. So it makes sense to have a giant penis. That was a sad looking pair of balls. Oof. It's like, it's so terrifying, you can't look away. You know, one of those things. Oh, oh it looks like a oof. weird chicken. Jeez. This is an elephant penis. This is huge. And I think that's an elephant. I like the skin of the balls for a lamb. How great. Wow, this giant one is a killer whale. This one's even more giant though. Or at least it's thicker. This is a penis skin right here. Tanned for leather. He uses leather. Penis skin. He uses leather. Like, that's not disturbing at all. Oh my god, people would eat penises. These are horse penises that are like flavored. What the hell? Why would people eat horse with a dog penis? Are you kidding me? This is a blue whale. And it's, it says it's the largest penis in the animal kingdom. It's about eight feet long. So, this is only a third of the actual penis. And it says the blue whale ejaculates five gallons of sperm in one session. That's a whole lot. We have a bunch of random little ones like a field mouse, a ram, a reindeer, horse, horse, ram, bull, pig. Oh. Wow, that's really, that's really skinny. This is a man, a man. It looks very, you know, it looks just as disgusting as all the other animal ones. Ew, man foreskin. This is a man's pe Did they go and we're gonna get the ugliest possible penis they could? Cause this looks like an old grandpa's penis. Well, uh, I really don't know what to, 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 to say. Um, uh, definitely a unique museum. Uh, very interesting experience, but like I was so grossed out. <laughs> okay, well enough about penises. Let's move on to something much better to help cleanse my soul. We're gonna go to church, guys. The church I saw earlier this morning, coming back to you because I wanted to check out the inside and I found out, also you can go to the top with a lift because how tired I am, there's no way you be able to make it up all those stairs. All right, so here's the church and from the side, so you can actually see the part that's not just a giant tower, but the actual, Cathedral. Wow, so yeah, very simple church, very plain and austere, very simple. No stained glass, just big white columns, marbled floor, not even quite marble, like stone, I mean, green pews. It's like very muted colors. Only two pieces of decoration up here, and then just the table and some chairs. Ah, so that makes sense now. I, this is a Lutheran church, and if I remember correctly, Lutherans are, they're much more pragmatic than other forms of Christianity. That's why their church is so austere. And it said 90%, 90% of people in Iceland belong to the National Church, which is evangelical Lutheran, so that's a lot. Very religious country. Here's the view from the second highest point. You can see the harbor and the ocean beyond and the mountains and some of Reykjavik and go up these stairs to get to the very top. So here we are at the very top. You can see that. Iceland has very colorful houses. That's cool. The square down below. Yeah, I love all the colorful houses and the colorful roofs. That's really cool. up in this big butt church. It was cool seeing Iceland from the top, but now it is time to leave, to go to the bus, and get to the airport, and fly back to the States. And here's this magnificent church behind me. All right, now for real. Time to head to the bus stop. So apparently in Iceland, it just rains off and on. Oh! Like it will rain for like two minutes and go away. And you'll pull out your umbrella and be like, oh no, it stopped. 
<laughs> it's so annoying. It's like, either stop or keep going. Make up your mind. Okay, so at the airport, only five minute check in this time. I'm gonna try my best to make sure I empty everything I need. And I love how it's all automated now. Like, literally, it's just. Okay, there we go. So, weirdly enough, their passport control is like before you get on the plane. Like when you're leaving the airport, leaving the country, not coming in. So strange, but I got it. My little stamp. All right, guys. So I'm on the plane, headed back home. Only a little bit of time until I'm back after I'm being away for almost two months. So excited to see my mom. So excited to be back in my own bed and see my dog. I miss my heels and <sighs> just so excited to be going back home. See you guys back in the United States. So just landed back in Los Angeles. That was a pretty miserable flight. Seats are not comfortable. And even though I took a sleeping pill, I had a really hard time sleeping. So not really a fun flight, but hey, I'm back. So happy to be back. Can't believe I've been gone for 52 days. It's the longest amount of time I've ever been gone for. The most is a month. I was just to Louisiana, not out of the country, by myself in a foreign place. And before I end this vlog, I just want to say that so while whoever's watching this, you guys won't be watching this, these videos, until, you know, months after I've actually been in Europe. But I want you guys to know that vlogging, it made me feel like I wasn't so alone. Even though I know no one's watching me right now, I know at some point someone will be, so it felt like I was talking to a friend, to someone. So vlogging, it really helped me out. It really made me feel like I wasn't so alone, like I was telling someone about my day. Oh God, that is really loud. Okay, I'm gonna pause this until this fucking noise goes away. Jesus Christ, this is a line for customs. You're ridiculous. So as I was saying, before I was rudely interrupted by that annoying noise, whoever's watching right now, thank you guys for watching because some days, Vlogging was what got me through like being alone, you know, traveling by myself, not being with anyone that day. Because it felt like I was with someone, because I was talking to you guys. So, just thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these travel vlogs. Sorry if they were kind of a mess. It was my first time doing travel vlogs, um, but I still hope you guys enjoyed them, enjoyed seeing my travels, and hopefully took you to places that you've never seen before, because I know not everyone is lucky enough to travel. So I'm really happy I could share my traveling experience with you all. I'm just gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys once again for watching. If you guys enjoyed my travel vlogs, please let me know. So this is the last one. The last vlog of 52 days of traveling Europe by myself, backpacking for the very first time, seeing lots of countries, lots of different things, and back in the United States. Well, I guess all there is left to say is thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button down below. Once again, my name is Jade, and I'll see you guys soon with more videos. Bye! Thanks for joining me on my journey.